Howdy. A few months ago, a guy who's known as Zelf all over the internet for making and selling uh, alcohol burning stoves, he goes by Stove Man Dan on uh, Hammock Forums, and uh, he sent me a wood burning stove that he's making now. He calls it the wood gas. Just out of the blue. Uh, thanks, Stove Man Dan. It's taken me a while, but I thought I would have a look at it now and show you what I have found. So it's, uh, it's a mesh stove. It's got four walls and a floor like so. And this plate and this plate have hooks for supporting the floor. The stove comes with a clip because we want to keep this corner closed so we can clip it uh, like so. Uh, the stove and the clip and the bag all weigh 122 grams, so that's just uh, four and uh, a third ounces more or less. Um, the idea of a stove like this is that you then load it with wood and start a fire on the top and then it burns down. Once loaded, you put your pot on and it stays there. You don't, uh, you don't add any more wood, so it's important to get it right. The dimensions of this stove are just right so that I can take this pot right here, which is right now loaded with three cups of water, and it's nearly full with three cups of water. And so that, uh, that fits perfectly. So the challenge for me now is going to be to load this and uh, boil these three cups of water. I've got a sycamore in my yard that's always shedding dead branches, which means that I've got a good supply of those branches. I can start to load up this, uh, this wood box. The nice thing about having a wood box this size is that you can put in some pretty hefty sized uh, twigs, unlike something like my uh, bush buddy. Uh, that uh, it's got a smaller wood box, and so the things that you can stick there are smaller. So try and get the, the most you can in here by stacking it vertically, at least around the edges, and then uh, build out when we get to the center. Uh, then we'll put in smaller stuff because that's where we're going to start the fire. So um, I will say that it takes a while to load up the stove, but the idea is that once you've done that, you can light it and walk away and it will just burn. So I've made sort of an impression, uh, a low spot in the middle, and that's where I'm going to put in the fire starting stuff. Uh, one of my favorite ways of starting fires is with a Vaseline soaked cotton ball. Uh, since it's sort of one shot deal, I'm going to use up the whole cotton ball on this, so I'll put this here. And now I'm going to start putting on some smaller stuff. This cotton ball gets going. These will catch, and hopefully the stuff below it will catch. What I put in first was the larger stuff. Now in this center portion, I'll put in the smaller stuff. Okay, I'm going to move it to the fire pit, and we'll see how it starts. just 10 minutes into the burn and we have a boil so that's uh, three cups of water brought to boil in uh, 10 minutes from match to boil 
So that's a pretty good run. Things I like about it, I like the fact that it packs up flat. And when I put it in my pack, then it's not going to take up very much space at all. It is relatively light, so that's a, that's a plus thing as well. Um, uh, I have to get used to this idea of having loads to, uh, wood once and, and let it go. So it, it clearly it works here, and to put enough wood in there, then uh, it, then it ought to work. Uh, but uh, I have a habit of wanting to feed these things. Uh, still, you know, if you can load this up and uh, get the fire going, and then go tend to uh, pitching your hammock or something, then that that could be a good thing. Uh, the one uh, thing that I did notice in the barn that I showed was that when there was a bit of wind up, then the flames were all over the place, and so I. Think think that in general um, you're going to need to bring some kind of windscreen along or be prepared to burn this in a sheltered spot because uh, there's nothing containing the flames here and if they're not contained then they're not directed to the pot. But aside from that, you know, like a lot uh, Stove Man Dan, um, I'm going to bring this out on the trail for sure and use it. I like it.